Hi guys, uh, long awaited uh, second video. I done it. Um, yeah, took a while. It was a while coming. Well, it was, I was supposed to have done it last week, but it took me about two weeks. But that's okay. I hope. Uh, I feel like I got over the hill and surpassed those people that only put one video on their channel and then that's it. Um, so yeah, my name's Tony. I'm um, the guy behind Volunteer of the World, uh, which is my ambitious mission to travel to and volunteer in every country on the planet and do meaningful volunteer work in every country for a minimum of one month. Uh, you can check that out and follow me on volunteeroftheworld.com, a uh, link in the description below. So in this second video, I wanted to uh, show you and talk a little bit about the gear that I'm going to be taking with me um, on my trip. So, well, the, f the first thing really, I should say, is um, I've got a new laptop and that's uh, the laptop that I'm actually filming this on. Um, it's a little Lenovo IdeaPad and it's it's really cool because it's really small. It's um, it's less than a kilo in weight and it's like 11 inches, um, you know, screen size. So it's I think it's perfect for travelers and backpackers alike. And yeah, that's what I'm recording this on now. And the microphone, I think, is better than uh, the mic on my old laptop, which I recorded the first video with. Um, I'm here. This is actually my niece. Uh, my niece's room when she comes and stays with my parents but I wanted to show you this which you might have seen uh, behind me in um, the first video I did so this is um, a little scratch map of the world and as I said this is at my parents house in England and um, this is gonna kind of be my HQ my you know my home base my headquarters whatever and it, using this scratch map um, they can kind of scratch off where I am and where I've been and they can also like uh, see you know uh, which countries are around me and help me kind of figure out where to go next just in case I happen to lose track of it myself or anything like that okay I also wanted to show you shiny new passport I got that a few weeks ago um, it's like um, a jumbo size one so it's got almost double the pages of a standard passport so that's going to be helpful to me most of you will have seen that already because I kind of did put it everywhere I also wanted to show you my um, my beautiful business cards yeah there we go volunteer the world business cards uh, which I'm go going to be giving out you know um, to random people that I meet and stuff and the projects that I work with and touch wood that's going to help me to uh, you know, spread the word and enable people to get in contact with me um, if they need to. Okay, on to the actual gear side of stuff. Uh, this is my my rucksack, my um, Pro Action rucksack, 65 liters, I think. I got it from Argos here in the UK. It was quite, um, let's say, affordable. It was quite affordable haven't had the chance to test it or anything yet um, I know that you know you should spend spend good money on your equipment because then it's gonna last you more and you know you don't want it to fail you when you're on your trip or, or something but I actually I had a lot of equipment to buy for this um, so I didn't want to like blow half my budget before I've even left yeah so that's my pro action uh, uh, my pro action rucksack um, can't really say much about it at the moment because like I said I haven't tested it I don't know what it's like looks like it's gonna be okay but you know you can't you can't judge a car before you've driven it and uh, this is my day pack um, it's just a small uh, rucksack from the brand the Chinese brand XQXA and I'm pretty happy with that uh, it's like um, yeah it's got a lock on the top built-in and it's also got um, built-in cables for uh, headphones and for charging so I'm, I'm quite happy with that one at the moment my only concern is how portable it is when it's empty like it, because the quality of the material it's it's quite good I'm not sure like when it's empty if I'm gonna be able to you know fold it up and squeeze it really squeeze it into my uh, backpack Okay, a bunch of other 
some other gear here as well. Where can I put this where it's not going to fall down? Yeah, I'll ignore that. Um, it's a waterproof cover for the rucksack. I don't know, some little locks. I have no idea if I'll need them or if they're going to be useful. Travel fan, just in case. Uh, what else in here is interesting? Oh, uh, pegless washing line because it might be useful. And I actually heard that it has like hundreds of different uses, not just uh, for doing your clothes and that. Toothbrush holder, always a good idea. Um, oh, one other thing as well that I think is quite important, or it's going to be quite useful to me when I'm on my trip, is this thing here, which I can't open. Here we go. Little um, action cam. Upside down. Little action cam like that. There we go. Uh, I figured it's going to be quite useful for me to take videos of my work while I'm actually working. Um, so I can really share kind of the volunteer experience. I did write to GoPro to ask if they um, would be interested in working with me on this Volunteer the World project, but I never heard back from them. And it seems like they only really work with athletes and stuff, which I am not. So I got this one. I found it on Amazon. The brand is Victor. And as well, it was quite affordable. Um, and there are quite a few different brands of Action Cam on Amazon. So, yeah, interesting to test a few different ones of them. Hopefully that will be okay. I've not tried it yet. I might make my next video uh, using that just to see if it works and everything. <clears throat> a few other bits and bobs. Um, so microfiber, microfiber towel, good for traveling around, quick dry, uh, emergency sleeping bag. Again, just in case, I've got some um, waterproofs and stuff as well. Now, some of you know that I play guitar, and sadly, I'm not going to be able to take my guitar with me. It's, it's just too big and um, cumbersome. But what I will be taking with me is this little uh, wooden flute, this little handmade wooden flute, which I picked up in Transylvania off, um, you know, off the, the maker, the guy that made it the craftsman. I can't actually play it, but hopefully on this journey, uh, you know, I'm going to play it now and then and I'll learn how to play it. Okay. So that's most of the stuff covered that I've got that I'm going to take with me. One other little thing that I wanted to show you was this. Um, it's actually a spy camera, like a little pen spy camera. It has um, here, I guess, in, you can't see it. There's two holes here. I guess one's the camera and one's the microphone and you uh, take the pictures and videos by clicking this little button on the top. Honestly, I don't know why I've got it. Um, <laughs> it, it might come in useful. I don't know. I just found it on AliExpress for like a couple of pounds and I was like, oh, well, you know, who knows? Uh, so we'll see. Uh, so that's really kind of everything. I've got um, a couple of other things. I've got like a heavy duty power bank as well that's going to come with me. And there are still a few things that I actually need to get. Good quality walking shoes uh, being one of them. Um, decent clothes to work in. You know, I, I'm just take kind of anything really like rags. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to be getting dirty, I think anyway. Um, what else do I want? Uh, yes, yeah, solar solar chargeable power bank. I'm going to be taking with me if I can find one, and also like a MiFi, you know, personal hotspot thing as well. And that's kind of my gear list. I don't know. What do you think, guys? Do you think it sounds like a lot, like too much? Maybe it is, but I don't know. I think this stuff is going to kind of be useful. Uh, if you've got any comments, got any suggestions, any tips, any questions, let me know by writing a comment below and that's it. We'll see you next time.